I am a publisher, writer, editor, daughter, sister, auntie, dog mom, and many other things, including currently a cancer patient. But I am not a doctor or medical professional of any sort. What you are about to watch is an episode of my journey through cancer. I'm sharing my adventure with you in hopes that you'll find something here that's comforting and maybe even inspiring. This video is not intended to provide any sort of diagnosis or treatment plan. Please, please go talk with your doctor for professional medical advice. Oh man, the morning sun when it's in your face really shows your age. Um, I haven't had my hair done in weeks and now we see what the problem with that is. <laughs> I look what? You look a little younger with it. I do look younger? Well, there you go. There you go. I, I, I'll take it. <laughs> we are on our way to the oncologist's office. Um, my stepdaddy, Jack, is driving me to Christie's, and then Christy and I are going to make the rest of the trip. And I am going to start chemo this morning and radiation. How am I feeling? Um, I don't know. Say good morning, Jack. Good morning, Lynn. <laughs> and this is the second leg of our trip. Jack dropped me at Christie's and now Christy, mm -mm, mm -mm, I'm coming mm -mm, over. Mm -mm. Apparently I'm not allowed to tape her. Wait, can I try that again? No. Can I come over? Come on, come on. No. 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 <laughs> now can I tape you? No. Come on, I've got you in the mirror. <laughs> Just say hello. Hello. <laughs> Good luck, Lynn. Oh, I'm so... I know you're nervous. <sighs> the chemo room. <sighs> I feel like it's just, you know, it all starts now. So I just took, so I just took some Zofran, which um, is an anti-nausea, anti-vomit medicine. So, God, I hope that works. And she's about to access my port. A little this side of terrified. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is access your port, okay? Who's got my martini and my doobie? <laughs> I wish I could help you out, honey. You're good. Nice deep breath. Yeah, usually this is the easy part. So this is the easy part? The cleaning and just getting your port access. Did you ever get blood drawn from your IV? Or just from your arm? Of before? course. Yeah, yeah. This, this usually is a lot easier. Is it? Okay. Just a little coke and...
think I'll wear a button front shirt from now on. It's the collar on this would be gone. <laughs> It took a little over two months to get here, but day one of cancer treatment is in the books. I've had my first infusion of mutamycin, and I am now, if I can bring this up here, I am now, I have this pump strapped to my waist and hooked up to my Port. and it is serving me four more days of a second chemo drug which I am finding totally not pronounceable um, but that I have uh, discovered to my delight is um, has a nickname of FU um, and session one of radiation which I will be having five days a week for the next six weeks is complete um, to date, I'm experiencing no side effects except for bone tiredness. Um, what I am experiencing is a, um, is a genuine, if likely entirely only psychological, um, improvement in my symptoms. Uh, for instance, um, I have been living with a constant um, a constant pressure, heavy pressure in my pelvis, and that is not gone, but it feels profoundly relieved. Um, and um, I look like hell, and I can't take a shower for four more days, and I couldn't be happier. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Also, don't forget to call your senators and your congresspeople to demand universal health care. And most importantly, don't forget to vote.